Now, it is a must-see on every tourist list, along with Big Ben and the Tower of London. Visitors to the capital just love going to Buckingham Palace. It's the home of the Queen, of course, but for how much longer? A new book suggests that if and when Prince Charles should become king, that he could move out and turn this symbol of Britain's monarchy into a grand government hotel and centre for events. So, we went to Buckingham Palace to ask people what they thought of the idea. They including, you might be surprised to hear, street slang such as fang and in it. Those are the main stories for you this morning coming up on the programme. Right now though, Mike's got the sport. Do you want another new Scrabble word? Go, Go on. on. Vlog. Which means? Video blog, apparently. Oh, a lot of these uh, new internet vlog. Vlog. Words are coming in, aren't they? In I have a pink shirt. There you go. Morning, Carol. Pink tie. Have you seen that too, Charlie? Yeah. And pink socks. Yeah. We could go on. No. Good morning. <laughs> you made that. that one up. <laughs> Memory. Right now, 11 minutes at past seven. The debate over how effective the NHS breast cancer screening programme actually is has been going on for several months and divided experts. So now there's to be an independent review looking at the balance between the number of lives saved. <laughs> we like it. <laughs> All right. Oh, Graham. Oh, a grand piano, a teddy bear and a collection of Proust novels. What do they all have in common? Yeah, they're not answers to... How to recover after a split. And Carol has the weather. First, our main story for you, and there's been criticism of the length of sentences being handed down to those involved in last week's violence and looting. Two men who each tried to incite a riot using the social network Facebook have been jailed for four years, the longest term so far. However, neither of the riots they attempted to organise actually took place. There's been criticism of the length of some sentences being handed down to those involved in last week's violence and looting. Two men who tried to... A British man's been killed by a, in a shark attack while on his honeymoon in the Seychelles. Ian Martin Red...